And then the guy from the club came up and was like, hey, OJ Simpson's here, and he said he wants to meet you. I said, what? Fuck yeah. I ran down the steps. <laughs> And OJ was down there, he was like, hey, young man, how are you? It's very good to meet you, and uh, you're doing really good work, and I hope good things happen for you in your life. I was like, man, thanks, Mr. Juice. <laughs> Standing beside him, what, I don't know the nice way to say this, uh, his soon-to-be slain wife. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, man the fuck up, or you're not gonna make it through the end of this show. <laughs> Just man the fuck up. She's dead, you already know, we know what happened. We don't know who did it, but we know what happened. I should tell you, that woman was very nice to me. She actually embraced me. She said, I think you're adorable. And she hugged me. She goes, good luck to you. And she held me for a long time. And I whispered in her ear, bitch, are you trying to get us both killed? <laughs> there I was, now a young man of probably 23. O.J. Simpson was the most famous or infamous face on planet Earth. I was in a restaurant in Beverly Hills with my agents. I wasn't alone in the restaurant, but I was alone. I was the only black person. And in the 90s, that felt very uncomfortable. Now I tend to enjoy it at this age. And suddenly, a group of women walked by. Every race was in that group. Black, white, Asian, Latina, white, white, and white again. And then, close behind was O.J. Simpson, newly released from jail. I was shocked. I didn't mean to say it out loud, but it just came out. <gasps> O.J. He stopped, saw my black face, and correctly assumed it was me. He leaned over all the white people I was having dinner with and shook my hand. He looked in my eyes, and I could see in his eyes that he didn't remember meeting me the first time. And I looked back at my agents, and all of them had nothing short of disgust. And the only one with the courage to voice their disgust was a woman named Sharon. How could you shake hands with that murderer? I said, Sharon, that murderer ran for over 11,000 yards. <laughs> I saw him as soon as I came out, the juice. But I did my show. Show went great. I said, good night, everyone. They all said, yay! And I didn't say nothing to OJ, but I just gave him a signal, let him know I knew he was there. <laughs> and I walked into the green room, and OJ was already in there. I was scared. And then my friends came in, and we all started talking. We sat down on the couch, and I'm just telling you what I saw with my own eyes. You can believe me or not believe me. But in my experience, OJ Simpson, one of the nicest men I'd ever met. He was nice to me. He was nice to my friends. The conversation was filled with warmth and levity, humor, and wisdom. We talked for 90 minutes, and then suddenly the Jew said, you know what, I've got to be going, but it's good to see you again, and I'm glad things went so well. I said, thanks, Juice. And my friend said, yeah, goodbye, Mr. Juice. They're new to the game. He said, no, thank you for your hospitality. Good night, guys. And we said, good night. And he just walked out of the room. And as soon as the door closed, we all looked at each other like, that nigga did that shit. <laughs> I could feel like murder in the room. The fourth time is not the funniest time, but it was the last time I'd see the juice. I was at the Kentucky Derby. It's a very long story. This is right after I quit Chappelle's show in spectacular fashion. There was a party hosted by Michael Jordan, and every athlete I had ever admired was in that room. And then I saw a familiar face by the bar, standing there, drinking alone. It was Chris Tucker. You have to remember, at this time, we were both technically missing. And we went over and we're talking with one another and motherfuckers were amazed to see us together. Seeing me and Chris Tucker at that point would be like seeing Bigfoot riding a unicorn. You wouldn't believe that's what you were saying. And then through all the gawkers, a familiar face pushed to the crowd. Here he was again, the juice. He had his camera ready. He was like, Dave, Chris, good to see you guys. Hey, come on guys, let's all get together for a picture. And at the same time, me and Chris were like, no. Sorry, Juice, my career is too flimsy to survive a picture with you. 